Shalom and welcome to Tumas Torah. Why is it that the Gemara says that one is allowed to smell the etrog doing Sukkot, but yet Shulchan Aruch Pasen is best to not to avoid it? What's the suffix? What's the question here? So Lamed Chetam and Aleph Daf Yom and Sukkah continue the discussion about the Arba Minim, and it's true one is allowed to smell the etrog, but why is there a question of Shmeik Bracha? Because I have Hana, and it's permissible physical Hana when I eat. I make a bracha. I smell nice things. I make a bracha. I'm allowed to smell the etrog. Once I'm allowed to smell the bracha, I should make a. Once I'm allowed to smell the etrog, I'm allowed to make the bracha. That's the simple pshat. Some we shown to maintain that. Wait a second. It's not just I'm thanking Hashem for this pleasure, not just I'm thanking for the drink, for the food. I'm thanking for this object of pleasure that He's given me, not just the act of pleasure. So I'm thankful for the object of pleasure. Wait a second. That water is an object of pleasure. The cake's an object of pleasure. The peanuts is an object of pleasure. This etrog is essentially an object of mitzvah, which I'm allowed to benefit side have side pleasures such as smelling it, but it's not an object of pleasure this week. It's an object of mitzvah. So some Rishonim say the brach has to be over an object of pleasure, which it's not. Others say just the act of pleasure. Because it's an unresolved mahloga, Shulchan Aruch and the Poskim say best just to avoid it, because why smell it? And then you get yourself into a suffix. Brachot. Shalom. Mm-hmm.